Hey, this is Sean Williams. Thanks for watching my video. It's Denver. It's a crazy market. I've been getting asked a lot, what's what's going to be happening? What's what are we looking at as far as 2017 projections? I'm going to tell you. So, in 2017, it's still going to be a seller's market. That's not going to be changing. Uh, as long as the migration to Denver, this awesome city that I live in, uh, continues and developers are still struggling to keep up with that, uh, you're going to see the inventory is still going to be crunched. And we see that in what's called our absorption rate. So a healthy, balanced market is about three months worth of inventory on the market. And right now, we're less than a month. And so it's still, still a heavily favored seller's market. Um, so that's not going to change. What might change though, kind of the wild card for this year, is going to be interest rates. Now it's going to affect both buyers and sellers a little bit differently. So uh, appreciation might be slowing um, because of the interest rates. So if you think about a buyer who is, has about $2,000 worth of mortgage payment that he's comfortable paying, or she, comfortable paying a month, um, now, at 4% interest rate, uh, let's say they can afford $400,000, a $400,000 house. Now, once that bumps up to 4.5% interest rate, well, now the value of their dollar, what they can afford, is going to be less. So some homeowners that are going to continue to push the limits of what they can get, think they can get for their house, might get a harsh reality when they realize that they're outpricing themselves for some of the millennials um, that are buying their first home or some of the baby boomers that are trying to, to right size and maybe downsize their home. Now who's going to benefit from the most? I really think uh, the sellers that are looking to upgrade their home. Uh, so if you're upgrading outside of the $400,000 range, so you're selling your house and you're buying higher, uh, I think you're going to be at an advantage because there's tons of people that are going to be looking for homes under 400000 but when you get up to $600, $800 million homes, if that's, that's your ballpark, uh, there's a lot less competition and as a buyer you're going to have more power. So you're really strong, you're going to get multiple offers on your under $400,000 home and then when you go buy, less competition, which is cool for you. Now buyers, uh, the interest rates, I'm saying you might want to jump on it or jump on it right now. Of course, I'm in real estate, so that's what I'm going to say a lot of the time. Um, but uh, I don't think appreciation is going to skyrocket, so the housing prices aren't going to go incredibly high compared to where they are now. But the interest rates is where you want to check and see um, can I get approved now? Because I was paying two, $2,000 a month downtown um, Capitol Hill area for rent, and if you're in that ballpark, it's, it's a lot less expensive. Uh, to, to have a mortgage um, and there's a lot in, a lot of um, down payment assistance programs in Colorado that can help you out so there's, there's just so many reasons to buy and so many incentives out there for home ownership awesome so those are my predict predictions for 2017 it's going to be a fun time either way uh, if you have any questions about you know first time home buyers or uh, you know, right time of year to sell your home if you're looking for max value. Any questions about buying or selling a home, let me know. That's what these videos are for, to educate you and make you lethal out there in the market. So thanks for watching my video again and I look forward to talking to you soon.